Hi everyone, welcome back to Super Mario RPG 2023 Remake. Last time we went through part of the sea and, well no, all of the sea, <laughs> and part of the sunken ship. Now we're back here doing the second half of the sunken ship, which is still pretty long, honestly. But it shouldn't take as long either. If you get hit by the bullet bills here, you get dragged off into the bottom part there. By the way, I, I've been wondering, does Mallow still have, he still does have a signal pin, signal rain, I should say. Anyway, the, the bullet bills here always go in a very specific motion, so once you figure it out, it's not, it's no big deal to dodge them. Oh, there's an enemy in here. Man, I already have it in for Mario right now. Uh, we still don't have fair eyes, but whatever. It's super effective! Uh, let's just bolt them. Yeah, I kind of wish Shocker had this kind of timing. It's a lot easier to react to. While well, Shocker kind of have to just to predict when the thing's supposed to come down. Ah, cool. Poison gas. We're definitely going to show that off. Now, how do we go up here? Well, it's actually quite simple. It's just coins. What's that rat doing, by the way? I'm just constantly running away. There's a hidden treasure nearby. We could talk to this Mario here, but... Oh! We hit that block, and then we have to somehow jump onto Mario. It's very uh, inconsistent. This is not an easy uh, one to get. Let's practice. You have to jump on the other Mario's head, specifically. There we go. Put Coca Cola in the storage box. Uh, who are you, anyway? A Greeper. But I can poison you now! This is the only method you can use to poison enemies whenever you want. I don't believe monsters die from poison, by the way. Plus, it only dealt one damage. Like, poison's just not very useful on the hands of the player. Oh cool, let's do that. Where's Yoshi? Yoshi! Another level up for Mario and Mallow. In the original, this was a... The character would just pop out of a pipe. And it would only be that one character. There was no dancing. Very tragic. The dancing is... It adds a lot to the level up menu. There's the dry bones here, but we can ignore them. We can get one frog coin for our trouble here. We'll fight him on the way back, I guess. Oh, this is a full party. This is the kind of team that uh, you face in the poison... The, the ship, and it just completely decimates you. As a kid. Because the dry bones are invincible unless you have flower points, and guess what? I had to fight this exact party combination, the, the one that had the dry bones, back when I was a kid, and I didn't have flower points starting the fight, so I kept trying to use the item that would uh, restart the fight, thinking that would give me some flower points. It didn't! It so lame. I had to restart my last save, which was like half an hour ago. Because as a kid, you didn't think to save all the time. He's not me. Man, we're getting so many level ups lately. Cause I, maybe that's because I haven't been grinding enough. Let's save right here. It's important that we save right here because uh, 
as a kid, I would ignore this save for whatever reason and go here to fight this thing. Unprepared. Whoa-oh. Let's jump on it. I'm pretty strong, right? You're thinking about running away, right? Right? Can't run away. Oh, goodness. Mini Goombas were inside. The Goombets in the original. Uh, they're in Japan. They, their thoughts were surprisingly adult humor like. Not in the original uh, international version, though. But anyway, these Mini Goombas, despite the fact that they're mini, they're actually quite strong. I did too early, and also I resisted. Look at this, 11 damage, and they have fear on. Oh, flamestone. That's a meteor. Why do you, why do you gotta get this mallow, buddy? Down. Uh, here, have a shocker. Got it. So yeah, these min these goombets would actually... I think it was a fight uh, attempt where um, I tried to fight off... Uh, like, I, I beat the, the main uh, chest enemy, the wo oh But uh, I didn't uh, finish off the goombets and the goombets finished me off because I was so weak. Very annoying. And that's, how, that's a testament to how strong they were. But the safety badge. The safety badge is... Parents Mute, Scarecrow, Fear, Mushroom, Sleep, Poison. I would say Mario should wear this if you're playing this game for the first time. Because that means Mario's always... Like, Mario's always going to be on your team, right? So having Mario always be immune to all those status effects that can make him useless? Uh, I would say it's kind of necessary. To ensuring that you don't uh, get uh, blocked off uh, with an annoying boss in the future. Not might be suggesting that there's a boss in the future that might do some annoying stuff in a way, yeah. I love the look of the frog coins, by the way. They look very meaty. That fish is trying to follow me, but I don't think it can actually start a fight with me. Uh, to get out of here, by the way, you're supposed to go to the other room and jump up on the barrels. We're in the sunken part of the sunken ship. Now this is an imported room. I mean, yeah, we got blooper right here, but uh, I guess we'll fight them. We don't fight the mini bloopers, unfortunately. They just don't exist. Oh, we got a special enemy here. Man, Terrorize is actually quite useful in this version of the game. In the original, it didn't feel like it was useful at all. Probably though because uh, you couldn't tell when enemies had the fear effect on. In this version, you can, at least. Poison is still useless, though. <laughs> oh, never mind. We can't fight the mini uh, bloopers. And they're just regular bloopers. I mean, yeah, I would win, but I'm kind of in a rush here. Also, yes, I did not figure this out the first time, a few times I was playing the game, but there's a door back here. I think they made it a bit more obvious in this version, because you can see the things sticking out, but even in the original, if you look carefully, you could see it. It's important that you go here, because you get the safety ring. And the safety ring is complete nonsense overpowered. Guards against mortal blows. 
Well, it's more than that. In the original, at the very least, what the safety ring did is... Uh, yeah, it's a loss of speed, but uh, it protects against all the uh, elements. The status effects, I mean. Elements, uh, I'm not positive, but uh, essentially uh, it would make it so that uh, your character was a lot stronger. Like, <laughs> significantly stronger. And that's just one part of it. There's an even further part where they become so strong if they put in uh, yet another piece of equipment that we'll see much later on in the game. And at least that other piece of equipment is a lot more hidden. Not that this one wasn't hidden, because you can clearly tell it's not something you'll get on your first couple of playthroughs, but uh, safety rain is very overpowered. That's, that's, just, that's the bottom line of what I'm trying to say. R, what's going on here? Who are you? What? You're looking for a star? I'll let you see stars. Aha! Anyway, you're out of luck. You see, whatever falls into the sea becomes Johnny's property. Got that, matey? Oh, and one last thing. Read my lips. We ain't letting you through. Got it? Sharks have lips? I think they do, actually. They got skewer. And they got regular attack. Bandana red. This is like... I think this is the only time you fight the bandana reds. Maybe one more fight after this, actually. They are weak against Thunder, because they're Water-type Pokémon. Ah, you're stronger than you look. Better warn the upper deck. Come on, mates! All right, where's the intruder? I don't see him. Did he get away? There he is! Get him, boys! Here, this is on us! What the? How dare you dodge the barrel? I think they just messed up. Hey, how'd you get up here so fast? <laughs> what else was I gonna do? Well, your luck has run out. We don't take kindly to the strangers here. Only two of you? No, of course not. <laughs> of course there's five of you. And they all get to attack first, of course. Oh, how did I mess that up? Whatever. Oh, missed someone. But will it really matter after I do this? No, it does not. Thunderbolt has a lot of mileage in this game. And the original, I feel. They're pretty tough, mate. Alright, I'll let you through to Johnny's place. Pretty tough, mate. Yeah. Yep, yeah, same thing. And, um. Uh... There's no save point. <laughs> this fight that we're about to do is actually pretty tough uh, as a kid. I'm surprised they didn't give us a save point. So you're D Mario, eh? Ah ha ha! Not much to look at. Well, this star fell into my sea, so it's mine. If you want it, you'll have to fight for it. Also, yes, we're already done fighting the bandana reds. Now we got bandana blues. They're, they're, I think they're supposed to be stronger. You can build up your chain quite a bit when you have to fight multiple enemies. Uh, so a trick to this fight is um, you can get rid of most of the bandana blues except one, and because of that, Johnny will never. Go He'll never do a thing he'll do later on. I will do that thing, by the way. Do the thing where... Like, the gimmick of this fight. Which they removed in Super Mario RPG Revolution, by the way. Very annoying. You're good. Very good. Now this is a fight! Ow. Okay. This might finish off... This will definitely finish off the cronies. I wonder if it will finish off Johnny too. Nope. Might as well shock rim. It's not a weakness. Get tough! Now he's red! 
Whahaha! <laughs> Not bad, fellas! How about it, Mario? Mario vs. me! Wanna mix it up? You, you do not have a choice on this. You have to accept. Good fun, and good for you too! Crew, look alive and cheer me on! This is a real fight! If you lose, it's all over! <laughs> it's very lame! Uh, but yeah, this is what, this is what uh, would make this fight extremely tough in the original for me, because uh, you gotta go one-on-one -on -one against Johnny all of a sudden, and uh, Mario is not that powerful. Well, if you miss like that, Johnny, obviously it's not going to be much of a challenge. <laughs> For reference, uh, if you don't want to do this one versus one thing, you just need to keep the bandana blues alive. At least one. What? What did I miss? I guess it's only fair. Yeah, Skurik can hit pretty hard, by the way. Just make sure that Maro is never, like, below half health. Uh, let's try a super jump. Name, but we beat him. But back when I was younger, this was very tough. Imagine getting all the way here without a save point and then just losing because of the one versus one nonsense. Mute! She can mute uh, potentially all enemies, but uh, like, which enemies use special attacks? The bosses, and that's when it matters, right? It's the bosses special attacks that uh, you want to prevent. And guess what you can't do against the bosses? You can't mute them. I'm impressed, matey. You've earned a star. Think of it as a souvenir for our, of our fight. Okay, this... We're after, she has, is going to have to do another long video. Because there's another thing we have to do after this. Like, I could keep it for another video, the, this other thing. But uh, it's just... It just doesn't feel right to leave it for its own video. Because it'll be like a... Only a halftime thing. Anyway, yeah, that was star number five. And he, the boss, just gave it so willingly to us. He must have really wanted that star. Now go on, get out of here before I change my mind. Johnny's our main man. He even fights in his sleep. We'd follow him everywhere, or anywhere. This is 100% currant juice. It's mild, tasty stuff, mate. Currant. Uh, should it not be current? Like, for, as a water joke? I always thought it was supposed to be current, but it's current. How about on trampoline next room? I'll take you outside. Go on, give it a try. Um, oh, he's blocking the... There's something you can do here, but uh, I guess he's blocking the way right now, so we can't see it. Unless, maybe... Nope. I guess uh, we'll have to show it some other time, maybe, if I remember. But yeah, it's going to be back-to-back, 30-ish -back minute long videos for this time. These uh, last couple of videos. Yee-hee-hee! <laughs> you found a star! Well done! But your journey ends here. You are so gullible! Don't you know who I am? I'm Spiritovich, a member of Smitty's gang. Shocked? In the original it was Yaridovich, and Yari just means spear, so... That's why they changed it to Spiritovich. It's no wonder! My impersonation of an ordinary person was flawless. Sure. Your search for the stars has worried Smitty. So I, if I take that star back to him, I'll earn brownie points. This is the way to get ahead! It's futile to try and fight me. Just hand it over nice and easy. Uh, you can keep saying no by doing these options, but it makes it so that you get a worse reward overall. So it's best to just hand it over. Interesting. In the original, it just felt like it was in your inventory. Here, you actually drag it down from above. Hee hee hee! And to think I got the star without even soil in my hands. I'm such a genius, it scares me sometimes. No wonder I'm so important. Alright everyone, listen up. We're returning to the castle. Our ride should be here right about now. Okay, so remember when I said I would lose to Johnny and I hadn't saved in a while? Well, guess what happens if you lose to the next boss and you forgot to save here? <laughs> you go all the way back to... Uh, where my last save was right there. Very, very uh, tragic. Because the next boss is also not very easy. He's got a pretty powerful starter attack. Uh, we're actually going to change our party real quick, by the way. We're going to go Peach Bowser. Like this. All the houses are empty, by the way. It's locked. 